Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is Safe Road School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Uh, I'll be right there. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
feet. You've been working late. I need your help. Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. What the hell are you doing? We're, um, doing maintenance. I'm calling security. No! What the hell are you doing? I told you to make sure no one came in. We've come too far to let humans fuck it all up. We've gotta move fast now. It won't be long before they know we're here. Ladies first.
You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Let's do this. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No. Nope. What are you doing? See them! Get up! Move! Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't shoot! We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. 
We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! Sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. Is an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. 
I hoped to learn something, but I had to destroy them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, great. Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. Have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at video broadcast by the Deviants. It's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You'll soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. I don't know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Think that's RA9? Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective.
see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? 
I do not remember. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. The deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. I knew everything. Scumbag! I know it's you! You're just a fucking deviant! Go on! Admit it! Deviant, stop it! Connor, no. 